I think that's horrendous. A popular eatery in Gross Point is now a crime scene. I had to be to work the next day at 5 a.m. and I was terrified to come here at 5 in the morning because I didn't know what to expect. Karima Regular is an assistant general manager at this Panera Bread, where she says inside the men's restroom, the unthinkable took place. What happened Friday evening, um, one of my team managers went into the men's restroom and he discovered this noose that was made out of paper towel um, hanging in the stall. Police were called to the scene to investigate what is now being labeled a hate crime. It was very alarming. Um, it's very disturbing and it makes you very uncomfortable. As the investigation continues, surveillance video is a key part of this case. He was looking at the surveillance cameras. Um, they were able to pick up um, a group of students that were here around the time of the incident. So they were able to get some footage of those students, so now we're just waiting to see, you know, what the outcome is. Although Gross Point has a predominantly white population, the staff at this location on Kirchival is not. 99% of us that works here is black. So it's no way around it that it wasn't intended for us. For this member of management, what's even more disheartening about this incident is that as we usher in the new year, this incident takes you back in time. It's unfortunate in 2023 that we're still living like this. Fox 2 reached out to the corporate office for Panera Bread, and the wait continues for a response. We also reached out to city officials, and we were provided a statement which reads in part, this is a hate crime that is unacceptable and will not be tolerated in our community. The noose, which is a symbol of human oppression and violence, has no place here. Any attempts at racial intimidation will be dealt with to the full extent of the law. City officials are calling on anyone with information about this crime to report it to police. They find out who did this and that this can come to an end and that justice be served for us and for my staff and for my customers because my customers are hurt by this too. In Gross Point, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.